Tulsa is the new campaign ship at tier 8. It's an American heavy cruiser and pretty similar to what we know and love if you have played up the American heavy line. Ships such as Baltimore, Wichita, Rochester, yada yada yada. She has a little odd design though, only six guns. Now they are autoloaders, so they have a fast rate of fire. It's 5.8 seconds stock, kind of like a, uh, a Des Moines feel. She has nine kilometer radar, the last 35 seconds sonar, and a normal American heel pretty standard and pretty vanilla if i would say so myself and that's not always a bad thing i suppose vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream or at least in the top 10 but really after playing this game for so many years i feel like i need some toppings some sprinkles some chocolate drizzle or something and tulsa is just a little bit meh but that doesn't mean she is bad for starters, let's see how I built Tulsa. A little bit differently than Buffalo and the Salem because of the lower damage output of the ship since you only get six guns. If sitting in a bow-in position, you're only gonna have four guns on target and that feels a little lackluster. So on top of accuracy, propulsion, concealment, and reload, I made my Einstein build more focused on reload with Membelli and Lightful. If you're free to play, never fret. Norman Scott would be the go-to commander, and again, try to buff reload as much as you can. The lack of damage with the low barrel count just feels not very fun. I had mentioned maybe making this thing an agile cruiser in my Salem video because it's a little redundant to have Salem, Buffalo, and now Tulsa, all American heavies in this kind of support cruiser role, but agile doesn't really make a lot of sense for Tulsa either. It's going to hurt your damage output even more, and for what purpose? You don't have torps to really rush, the shells are floaty, so firing from long range in open water seems silly. So yeah, no Agile Tulsa for me. You can try it out, but for me, yeah, hard pass. Anyways, the game in the background is getting underway. And if there is one word of advice I could offer you when playing your Tulsa, that is patience. I know it's glamorous to rush caps, radar DDs, and go ham, but really this is a ship where you just have to be more cautious and kind of wait for the match to develop. So what I'm noticing right now is I am spotted, so one of these pesky destroyers has sailed over here to this side of the map. We go ahead and throw sonar on just in case. It's a Shimikaze, and um, <laughs> the Shimikaze does a pro gamer move and sails directly past the cap, all of the ships, and goes straight for our carrier. So definitely keep an eye on that. I do try to give our carrier ample warning that he's coming. Um, but yeah, you'll just have to pay attention and see what happens next. The Reds are already down two ships, so uh, yeah, we might as well rush <laughs> or push because it looks like this is going to be a quick game. Now, after 15 matches in Tulsa, I did start to wonder, should I just play the Buffalo? And honestly, after looking at the stats, it's kind of a fair question. Starting with the health points, Buffalo is going to be a little bit more resilient than Tulsa. And on paper, it looks more resilient than Salem, but of course... That ship is a little busted with a super heel and a 30 millimeter deck and upper belt. So Salem is, again, hands down, <laughs> the best American cruiser at the tier now. But Tulsa does have a decent armor scheme, I suppose. Mostly 27 millimeters of armor. It means this Marlboro, well, I can bully him. If he had HE loaded, I would have something to fear. But uh, since he's shooting AP, there's really nothing he can do. I believe it's 14 inch guns. And with his big big massive citadel it's pretty easy to punish him sailing broadside right in front of me so thank you sir for the uh the damage alaska is over here on the edge so we still have to be careful of that those improved pin angles on the alaska 305s can be very very dangerous to tulsa but damage output tulsa comes in last place for these american heavy tier 8 so again i feel like buffing reload is a big part of having more fun in this ship just my opinion, we still probably would have killed the Marlboro just fine, but with the faster reload, we got it done quicker, and it's going to help you against destroyers as well. The accuracy. I suppose it feels the same as the other American heavies, but some salvos are just going to look like garbage since there are only four shells flying out in a bow in position. And I call this the Nisenau effect. Low barrel count makes wonky dispersion at times look even worse than it is is but the ship has improved pin angles that's worth noting and with the low barrel count her ap and he shells actually deal a little bit more damage to help bounce them out moving on though tulsa has the least effective aa of the group that's for sure but just marginally so and for how she gets around the map slow 33 knots just like salem and buffalo but a nice small turning circle and a pretty mediocre rudder the last stat 
concealment. At 12.5 base, it's actually one of the best features of this ship. With the Beepley Makawa setup, I had it down to 9.5 kilometers, and that is pretty saucy, almost at stealth radar levels, which of course I like to vaunt as one of the most potent setups in World of Warship. Overall, I see that Salem really is the best tier 8 American heavy cruiser now, possibly one of the best tier 8 cruisers overall, up there with Petra Pavlovsk and maybe the Kronstadt. But the Buffalo and the Tulsa, they both kind of have their nice features. Buffalo being a little more tanky and damage focused, and Tulsa a little better radar, a little more agile, and better concealment. So Tulsa, I think it's a fine ship and a good addition to tier 8 to help check some of these stupid powerful destroyers like the Sumner and the Hayate. It has an awesome consumable suite with a lot of utility, but again, the blow barrel count can make close-in support especially bow tanking, feel a little more cumbersome. Speaking of DDs, their Shimikaze finally caught up with our midway to dev strike him. But again, you can't say that I didn't warn the dude, right? He had ample time to, uh, you know, kill that Shimikaze. I don't ever play the midway, but I'm sure the torpedo bombers or the dive bombers would be adequate to kill a Shimikaze in like seven minutes time. Anyways, we have caught up to their midway, so let's buff our damage a little bit and try to gun him down. As you can see, the shells are pretty darn floaty, but if you've played American Heavies before, you should already probably expect that. Like I was saying earlier though, the time to kill DDs sitting bow in, just firing these four shells, it's going to be a lot longer than maybe you're used to. Definitely longer than Des Moines or the Salem. So if you can find the opportunity to turn the ship a little bit and get all of your guns involved, that's going to help you out a lot especially against dds if you can they have a lot bigger hp pools up here delny hayate mogador z46 are all up around 20,000 or more i would say the radar being 35 seconds having that extra five seconds on the radar is really helpful against the dds if you have them in that nine kilometer range the firing angles on the guns they don't seem bad in fact rear facing they seem pretty good i don't know if the turrets are actually smaller or if they can turn a little better for some reason or the other I don't know I didn't do uh, in-depth testing on that but I do know the rear firing gun angles are actually pretty saucy pretty good as this game comes to an end it looks like we're going to win it on points we're not even going to get a chance to catch up to the Alaska I don't think but I'm overall curious to hear what you guys think about Tulsa and what you guys think about Salem interestingly enough I thought that video would perform very very well but it seems like there was just not a lot of interest in Salem and or maybe the other CCs beat me to the punchline but I was surprised with how poorly the Salem video performed I'm curious to see if this Tulsa video will be the same way is there just not a lot of interest in these American heavy cruisers I don't know let me know in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you also be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful or if it provided value to you in any way yep there's the alaska but again we won't get a chance to kill him because the game is over and that was a pretty darn quick tier 8 match anyways i'll catch you guys in the next video see ya